Hi guys, in this video I'll be discussing what are ecosystems, how are ecosystems organised, interactions and interdependence. Finally, a summary. Our whole world is divided up into ecosystems. Ecosystems can be small scale and cover a small amount of area. For example, the pond in your garden could be an ecosystem. However, they can also be large scale, such as a tropical rainforest or savanna. But what is the definition of an ecosystem? Well, an ecosystem is a concept that covers a community of organisms and all aspects of the physical environment in which they live. And don't worry if this sounds really complicated. I'll explain what these terms mean in this video. So this is an example of an ecosystem. You can see there's a community of organisms and they all live in a physical environment. And the physical environment and the community make up an ecosystem. Ecosystems actually contain all the resources that its community needs, for example, light, space and food. Without these resources, the organisms in the ecosystems may not be able to survive. Ecosystems contain organisms, and the organisms within an ecosystem interact in many different ways. For example, predators such as a lion eat other animals such as a zebra for food. Predators can also compete with each other for food. Organisms can also interact by mating within their species to produce offspring. We can divide an ecosystem into several different levels. For instance, the simplest and smallest level is an individual. This is a single organism from a single species. For example, this single zebra would be an individual. These individuals make up the next level. A population is the next level, and it's made up of individuals from the same species. For example, this group of zebras together would be a population. The next level of organisation is a community. A community is made up of the populations of every species in an ecosystem. So the population of zebras and the population of lions add together to make a community. In this particular example, it means that there's only lions and zebras in the ecosystem. The final and the biggest level of organisation is the ecosystem itself. And the ecosystem is made up of the community of organisms within it, as well as the physical environment in which they live. This is called the habitat. So in this case, the habitat would include the water, the soil and the mountains. And as well as many other things, these make up the habitat. The ecosystem is also made up of a community of organisms. So remember, this is all the populations of different species living in the ecosystem. As I said before, there are many different interactions within an ecosystem. Actually, organisms within the ecosystem rely on each other and the environment to provide the resources they need to survive. Organisms can't just survive on their own. This is called interdependence. This means that there's dependence between organisms. As all organisms rely on each other, this means that all organisms are interdependent on other organisms for survival. This might seem a little confusing, but don't worry, I'm going to go through some examples. For instance, predators such as foxes require prey such as rabbits to survive. If foxes didn't have the prey rabbits to eat, they would die. Rabbits themselves also rely on plants for food. If they didn't have these plants, these rabbits would die. And this in turn would cause the foxes to die as well, as they have no food source. It's really important to remember that interdependence doesn't need to go both ways. Only one organism needs to be dependent on another for there to be interdependence. For example, a fox may rely on a rabbit for food, so it's interdependent, but a rabbit may not rely on a fox. However, there's still interdependence. The interactions of organisms concerning food and what eats what is shown as a food web. The arrows show which organisms are eaten by others. So in this case, you can see that the giraffe and the rhino eat the vegetation and the lion eats both the giraffe and the rhino. This diagram is a very simple representation of a food web. Normally food webs are much, much more complex than this. This is because there's a huge number of interactions between different organisms in an ecosystem. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. 
If you're looking for an amazing GCC biology and combined science resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the Snap Revive smiley face and together let's make biology at GCSE a walk in the park.